Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm doing a haul. Mostly because it's just getting overwhelming. And this is really heavy. And I need to put this stuff away and organize everything. So yeah, this is not going to be in any order because it's just a mess at this point. And yeah, this is probably going to be a long video. So I'll just get started. Um, so first of all, I just have this on the top here. Um, this is a brush roll. Like so that I got in my Boxy Lux for December. It's by Luxie and Luxie makes some of my favorite brushes so I'm very happy to have received this. I haven't used it yet obviously so I can't really tell if it's the same quality as their other brushes but they look really nice. Like these are the handles, they're gold. Ooh, yeah, this is, this feels so nice. What is this? Tapered highlighter, yes. Nice weight to them, not too heavy, but they feel nice. And I like that it came in this roll because I don't have any more room in my little cup holders for new brushes. <laughs> so yeah. Um, also, I got this pack. Um, my mom gave this to me. I'm pretty sure I already have all of these, yeah, but these are my other favorite brushes, the Royal and Lime Nickel Moda Pro brushes, so very happy to have extras of those anyway. And then one of um, the newest palettes I got is the Domni Cosmetics Berries and Cream. That was just the sleeve. This is the packaging. Uh, I got this because it was on sale and I had Sephora gift cards um, that I got for Christmas. So these are the colors. I'm very excited about this. I always wanted this palette, but I just felt like it was a bit too pricey um, considering I have so many other palettes already. But I do feel like this is a unique color story for my collection. I don't have a lot of like deep berry palette so I'm very excited to try this yeah so I'll probably use this in like a future video the next thing I have here is a benefit gimme brow let me just put this <laughs> down um I got this also in my boxy charm I'm pretty sure yeah it's the brow volumizing fiber gel I got the shade four I actually chose this shade because I used to use this product before I started using the Hourglass Fiber Brow Gel um, but I had the shade 3 and I didn't find it was dark enough so I'm hoping this won't be too dark but yeah so I did pick this product but I received it in my BoxyCharm so I'll switch over to that one when I'm done with my Essence one. Oh, this was kind of like a splurge for me. <laughs> it was like a Christmas gift to myself, I guess. Um, it's the Pat McGrath um, Mothership Mega Celestial Divinity Palette. This was her holiday release. It's still in the box and I have yet to use it. So the box opens like an envelope, kind of. This is the palette, it looks like the box. And on the back it has the shade names. Um, and something weird about this, um, this is actually a sticker. And I saw Tara Baby, she actually removed it and there's like a different design underneath. I'm not gonna do that because I don't want it to get all yucky or whatever. But I found that strange and I heard that's the case with some of the other products she released for a holiday, so I don't know what happened. It's like they had a different theme in mind and then somehow it changed and they covered it up with a sticker. But either way, whatever. It's still, oh, and it's cardboard packaging, obviously. And then it opens. I'm doing it carefully because it's just held on by like these black ribbons there. Um, these are the shades. I'm very excited to use this. I just haven't already because 
what occasion do I have to put on Pat McGrath's eyeshadows? Like, I'm in a lockdown, so I don't know. But <laughs> I'll probably use this in a video. I mean, I guess it was limited edition. But I don't know. I just want to use it. So, yeah. So that's the Pat McGrath Labs Celestial Divinity Palette. I don't know why I'm putting it back in the box. Whatever. What is this? Oh, more brushes. I got this one for Christmas. Um, this is the e.l.f. powder brush. It's like a flat top brush. I really like e.l.f. brushes, so I'm going to get some use out of that. I should just put it away. Ooh, it feels really soft and nice. Yeah. That is a good brush. More brushes, and another set of Moda Royal and Langnickel brushes. These are the metallic ones. It's just, oh yeah, it looks like a really good crease brush. And this like angled brush here. It says two piece ultimate eye sculptures. I'm sure this came, yeah, definitely came in a boxy charm. I just don't remember which one anymore. <laughs> Um, this is another product that I bought when I bought the Domni Cosmetics palette. I got a mini Tarte Maracuya Tinted Hydrator. I've been hearing a lot of good things about this and I've been wanting a product. Basically, I've been wanting a tinted moisturizer um, because I don't have one anymore. Well, I have the BB cream from Physicians Formula, but I feel like that is... Honestly, it's more like a foundation. So I think this might be a bit more like it might actually be hydrating and more like a moisturizer. So I'm excited to try that. This is the mini size, which is like quite mini I found. But yeah, I prefer to get the mini than the big one because like I don't even, I've never used up a face product. So there you go. Oh, I have another e.l.f. brush. This is the Angled Foundation Brush. This I would probably use more like for blush, but that's what it's called. So another good brush to have. I have so many brushes all of a sudden. <laughs> I need another like holder just for brushes. Oh no, yeah, maybe this is more like a foundation brush because look how it's very thin and dense. Yeah, this would be this would be a foundation brush. Another brush. <laughs> this one was on my Christmas list that um, my mom asked me for. It's the Liquid Touch, yeah, Liquid Touch brush from Rare Beauty. It's supposed to be a concealer brush, and that's what I intend to use it for. Oh my God, they really package this very <laughs> well. Okay, so finally, the concealer brush. And I really, I wanted to get this brush when the brand launched, but I got the foundation brush instead and I just didn't want to, you know, spend too much money. But I really did like the shape of this brush, especially for concealer, because you can get it right up in the corner and it's nice to blend out. It feels super soft and I really like the foundation brush that I have, which is basically the same idea, but, you know, bigger and wider. Um, so yeah, I asked for this one for Christmas. And another product I got when I bought the Domi Cosmetics palette and some other things. Oh yeah, also there was a sale at Sephora. <clears throat> it was 20% um, off items that were already on sale. So that's why I went ahead and bought those other things too. But I got a Milk Makeup um, lipstick in the shade Deuces. This one's been on my wish list for a long time. So when it went on sale, I was like, I'll just get it. Um, I actually thought I already had one of these, but the one I have, I think is their tinted lip balm. And this is their lipstick. So it's a different packaging, but it's like really nice magnetic packaging. I just was confused because I thought 
I already had a lipstick from them. Um, but I guess that's a lip balm and this is the actual lipstick. So I haven't tried this yet, but it sounds like something I'd really like. I think they're supposed to be moisturizing and whatever. So it says bold lip color packed with pigment and hydrating oils for a moisturizing matte like never before. Right. Sounds good to me. Oh, another brush I got for Christmas is the Sassy and Chic. That is very hard to say. Charcoal infused precision brush. Uh, I'll just take this out because you can't even see it. Can you? Yes, this is a great brush for inner corner highlight or even like if you do more detailed looks, which I don't really, but <laughs> I could try. Why won't this focus? There. Looks like this. Yes. I'm happy to have that too. Oh, and in my last video that I just filmed, because I'm wearing the same outfit, so you're going to be able to know. But um, I mentioned I got a new sponge, and it's from Hip Dot, this company here. This is like an indie brand, I guess, but they've been putting a lot of their products in boxy terms. So I actually received a palette also that I'm probably going to mention at some point. But um, they sent two sponges. This one here, which to me looks exactly like a beauty blender. I've never actually owned a beauty blender because I'm not spending like, what is it, like $28 on a sponge. Um, but it also came with this little smaller one, which could be really good for concealer or um, when I put like powder under my eyes. So I'm actually really happy I got this. Um, and I'll probably start using this really soon because my other sponge I think is on the way out. Another product I got in my Boxy Lux. I actually have this so I might as well refer to it. So this is the card I got with my Boxy Lux. It was the Bubbles and Glitz theme. It was the December box so. Um, I got this Rockins Cosmetics Hot Mess Threesome Glitter Gel Pins. So apparently this retails for $40. It's actually three products in one. It's like these jumbo eye pins. Obviously I haven't used this yet. It's still in the packaging. But I actually picked this product because before they send you the box, um, if you're I think it's because I'm signed up for the Lux. I get to choose products when I receive my boxy charm. So I chose this one because whatever else was there, I remember like either I had it already or I just really didn't need it. But this was something I wanted to try. Um, so it's basically like eyeshadow pencils, but they have glitter in them, supposedly. But I can't really tell that right now. But anyway, um, and they're in fun colors, like a black one, a green one, and a blue one. So I have no idea what this brand is or if these are going to be any good. But I'll probably use them in some video. Um, so yeah, I got those. Did I show you this already? I can't remember anymore. But I did get... It was my birthday in November, so I got the Charlotte Tilbury um, birthday gift. I don't know if this one is Rouge exclusive, but anyway. It comes with the, um, the Magic Cream and the Pillow Talk Jewel Lips, which I actually almost bought in the full size. So when I saw this was the birthday gift, I was like, well, I might as well get that. Um, so yeah, I have this now and I am excited to try those products. I think I had a sample of the Magic Cream and I liked it. I just would never buy it because it's very expensive for a, basically a primer. Um, but yeah, what's this? Oh yes, another product from my uh, gift card haul. I finally caved and got the Natasha Denona mini retro palette. I've been wanting this since it came out, but it was out of stock basically the whole time. I don't know if it was like a Canadian issue or whatever, but it was finally back in stock when I was making my order. So I just threw this in. 
unfortunately came um, a bit broken this last shade here it's not really like in the pan so I'm afraid to hold it up but these are the shades I love this color story which is why like I couldn't not get it <laughs> because um, I really just like these like um, pinks and like khakis kind of vibe I don't know I really want to use this soon as I do I think I've said that with everything so far so I guess I'll just film a lot of videos now since I have nowhere to go anyway and I'm not allowed to leave my house after 8 p.m. but anyway <laughs> yes so I have this now I guess it's more like a spring palette but whatever I don't know Oh, another Natasha Denona palette. I'm really sorry if I've mentioned this already because I'm now I'm not remembering. But anyway, this is um, interesting because Natasha Denona put like a custom palette in the, the BoxyCharm. Did this come in the Lux one? I think. No, it didn't. I don't know when this came. In October, maybe. Anyway, it's a Natasha Denona 5-pen uh, palette. It's called Peak, like P-E-A-K. Um, yeah, so I haven't used this yet, but it looks... This is like my kind of color, so I'm sure I'm going to like it. I just... I don't know if it's like... Did she do a special formula because it's in the boxy charm? I don't know. But this looks really nice. And it's the same packaging as her other palettes. I don't own any of her other palette, the five pen ones, but I know, like I've seen them in the store, so I know it's the same packaging. Oh, here is something very exciting. Um, this was a product I got for Christmas. It's the Hollywood Flawless Filter for Superstar Youth Glow from Charlotte Tilbury. Um, this product I've been wanting forever. It's on everyone's like favorites list or like best of 2020. Um, so yeah, I know it's probably... I mean, I've already tried it. So I know I like it because I had a sample of it and I was like, I need to have this product. So I got this shade too. It looks like this. I know when this first came out, everyone was like, okay, but what is it? Like, is it a foundation? Is it a highlighter? What do you do with it? Um, when I used the sample, I used it as a foundation. I put it all over my face and I really liked it like that. Um, a lot of people use this um, as like another step before foundation. So. You use your primer, then you would put this, and then your foundation, and it gives you like a really nice glow underneath. Um, or some people I've seen use it just on like the places they would put their powder highlight. So like up here, um, here, you know, the usual places. So I think I'll, I'll try different ways, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna like this just for all over because I have such dry skin as you know if you've seen my other videos that I can pull off putting something like this everywhere um, because my skin will just like eat it anyway but yeah so I have this finally in my collection I did ask for it for Christmas because I didn't want to buy it myself so thank you mom if you're watching um oh another like three in one product from boxycharm which is pretty cool i don't know if they're like trying to do this on purpose but you're basically getting even more product for um the same price because you get three um lip they're called lip fondants they're basically liquid lipsticks from the brand half caked and these I've only swatched, but the colors are super pretty. And the, they're three like full-size lip products in one package. So 
for BoxyCharm, like they count this as one product, but it's really three. So that's pretty like a good deal for your, what's, what's the saying? A good bang for your buck. <laughs> good deal for your money. No, that's not it. But it is a good deal. Anyway. Um, yeah, so these are the shades and I love all of them. Uh, I swatched them as I said. These are all the kind of shades that I like, like mauve like almost berry tones. I really like those. And yeah, I'm excited. But these are liquid lipsticks. Like when I swatch them, they do not come off at all. So I know like when I put this on, it's gonna stay. So probably really good to wear like under a mask, but yeah. Ooh, I also got this for Christmas, the e.l.f. Baked Highlighter and Blush in Rose Gold. This thing here, it's like a duo. Um, yeah, highlighter and blush, like I just said. So that looks really pretty. I haven't tried these before, but I've heard pretty good things. Ooh, here's a fun product. So I got one of the Fenty Gloss Bomb Creams because I just had to. I basically get any lip product that Fenty releases because I do that thing where I keep going lower <laughs> than I'm out of frame. Yes, so I love like basically all of Fenty's lip products except those lipsticks that everyone is like, oh my god, they're the best thing ever. They taste so bad. I don't even remember what they're called, but they're like shiny lipstick or something. Anyway, yes, the colors are nice, but the taste, oh my god. But anyway, I got this Fenty Cream. So it's basically how I see these. It's like the gloss bomb, but without glitter like more pigment um, and I got the shade Honey Waffles which is like a really unique kind of brown shade and these don't have the same scent as the gloss bombs it's more like subtle it's kind of something fruity I guess but I haven't tried this yet I'm hoping it's not like it doesn't taste like the lipsticks do I'm actually wearing um, the Gloss Bomb and Fussy right now. This is like one of my favorite lip products that I own. Like not Fussy specifically, but the Fenty Gloss Bombs. So I'm probably really gonna like this. I just haven't had the chance to use it yet. Oh, another product. So I don't know. <laughs> I gave my mom like my whole like Sephora loves list and I was like, you can pick things from there. And she just picked like all the Charlotte Tilbury things. So I don't know if she just was like drawn to that name or something. And this I actually wanted the mini size of because there's a mini of this now. It's the Filmstar Bronze and Glow. This is like a classic YouTube product I feel. Um, it's a face sculpt and highlight, but she got me the big one. I was like, why? I don't need big products I have. So many. Okay, this packaging I have to show it to you because it, it's so extra. Like first it comes like this. These slide off like like this. And then this opens <laughs> and it says, this is a secret that silver screen sirens have kept to themselves for years. Okay, Charlotte. And then it opens. And then there's more writing. So it's um, one side is a highlight. It says apply the highlighter on top of the cheekbones, down the center of the nose, the bow of the lips, and brow bone to give you candlelit skin. And the sculpt side says apply the bronzer to the areas you want to sculpt and define using a brush. Your cheek hollows, side and tip of your nose, jawline, and temples. Never forget to blend. Then finally, we have the product, which is like this. It looks really nice and luxe, I have to admit. Because, you know, I've said in my some of my other videos that I found the Charlotte Tilbury packaging was not, like, for the price, I didn't feel like it was that good. 
I feel bad saying that, but it just, like, the lipsticks are so not heavy, I guess is my issue with them. But anyway, this feels a lot more nice and luxe and weighted. And then this, finally, is the product. So you have your highlighter and your sculpt, which is basically the bronzer. And I'm very excited to try this because everyone talks about it. And I'm just... I felt the FOMO, I guess. So finally I have this in my collection. I think I almost have enough to do a full face of Charlotte Tilbury. So if that's something you want to see, let me know. I'm kind of just curious to do it anyway. Um, just to use all the products together and see what I come up with. So yes, let me know if you want to see that. Oh, and I also got um, the Rare Beauty Magnetic Spirit Eyeshadow Palette. Um, Rare Beauty is going to be another one of those brands where I just have to try everything they come out with. She just launched her new cream blushes like in the pot and more lip products and I'm like, I, I need it. So this is the palette. I got the purple one. I didn't want to get both of these because they're all shimmer shades. Usually I don't go for palettes that are only shimmers, but like I said, Rare Beauty, I don't know what it is. I'm not even a Selena Gomez fan, but I just love everything and I want to try it for myself. So those are the colors. They look so pretty. I think with this palette, I would use it more as lid shades, like a one and done kind of thing. Um, so yeah, that's probably what I'm going to do with that. And I can also probably do a full face of Rare Beauty, which I plan to do. So, because I need to revisit the foundation. The only thing I don't have is the concealer. And I remember I had a sample of it. I didn't love it, so I don't really want to purchase it. Um, but yeah, now I have the eyeshadow. So basically I have everything. Oh, another product I got for Christmas. I got a lot of makeup for Christmas, which I'm not complaining about because I'm probably not going to be buying a lot of makeup going forward. I'm saying this on camera to hold myself accountable because I bought a car last year. So now like I have to start paying that car and <laughs> yeah. So I should probably cool it on the makeup for a while, but I literally have enough makeup to do like a year's worth of videos and not have to buy anything. So anyway, the Naked Honey palette. I almost forgot. So this I tried to buy when it went on sale, but as soon as it went on sale, it was sold out on Sephora Canada. And I went to three, no, three stores? I think I went to three different stores. Two or three, they also, it was sold out in store. And then my mom went to another store and it was sold out there. So finally she got this for me for Christmas. Um, but she had to buy it from like a shopper's drug mart in another province. So yeah, they shipped it over, but um, yeah, so I finally have this in my collection. This is another product that I wanted since it launched, but I never buy Urban Decay when it's not on sale because I know it goes on sale and when it does it goes on sale for like 50% off or more so I always wait because I don't feel like it's worth it otherwise like these palettes are like $65 I think is that it? I don't know but anyways I finally got it open so I'm sure a lot of you have seen this already this is the packaging it looks super cool and these are the shades. This is just like a perfect palette for me. I feel like all these colors are colors I'm normally drawn to. So I already know, like I'm gonna like this. And I really like that honey shade. It's like a yellow, kind of gold, but not as like, 
gold, if you know what I mean. <laughs> so, yes, another product that I'm very excited to have. I only own the Urban Decay, like as far as the Naked palettes go, I only have the Naked Heat palette and this one. I'm pretty sure I've showed you this. This I got in a boxy charm like a while ago. It's the Pretty Vulgar Nesting Bitch Face palette, and I actually love this. First of all, look at this packaging. That's the cutest thing I've ever seen. And then this is the inside. And yeah, I just I used it once before, but I really liked it. So, <laughs> and it actually has like their um. Like Glimmers of BS is a single eye, um, a single highlighter that they sell, and I think Sun of a Bee is a bronzer. I don't know if I'm remembering that incorrectly, but anyway, I just mean like these aren't. This isn't just like a random palette. Like it's their actual products in here. Like the ones they, you know what I mean. Anyway, I really like this. I mean, if it's in my new box, it must mean that I didn't show it to you yet, I hope. Oh, this one. I got the Star Wars, the Mandalorian, the Child, Best Powder Palette from ColourPop. I just had to get it. I mean, look at this. How could you not get this? <laughs> um, I've actually never watched <laughs> the Mandalorian. I just know what baby Yoda looks like. I know he's not baby Yoda. He's the child, blah, 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 whatever. I'm not a Star Wars fan normally, so don't come for me, but this is so cute. And not only that, but look at these shades. This is another, like, it has the Natasha Denona retro vibes. You know what I mean? It's like that green, like a mossy green. I just love it so much. So yeah, those are the shades. And then look at the mirror. Look at it. Cutest in the galaxy. I'm just obsessed with this. Um, yeah, another product from ColourPop that got me based on like the packaging and the theme because the other one, you know, that I have the Sailor Moon collection. So yes, I had to have this. It's just so cute. This one was, I still don't even know how this could happen, but I got the Busy Art or Visa Professional Makeup Palette, whatever, 12 shade professional eyeshadow palette in neutral mattes. I got this from Boxy Pop Up for nine dollars. This is how much? This is eighty dollars or eighty or ninety dollars or more. I don't even know. Let's look. <gasps> no. This is a hundred and five dollars on Sephora Canada and I paid nine dollars for it. How? Someone explain that to me. I don't know. Like, obviously, did I need this? No, but was I gonna pay $9 for it? Yes. First of all, I love these shades. I love matte palettes anyway. It's always good to have good mattes because shimmers, they could all tend to look the same, but a matte really like I feel grounds your look and when you have a bad mat it can ruin everything so I just got this but can someone explain to me how they could sell this for $105 on Sephora but then I can get it for $9 I just I don't know but yes yeah, so now I have the <laughs> busy art neutral matte palette which I've wanted for years because of Stephanie Nicole and Mel Thompson and all the YouTubers that talk about this yard. So finally I have this and I'm very excited to use it. And it's in the new packaging, I believe. Is it? Or maybe it's not. Well, I've never owned a Viziart palette in this format, so I'm not sure, but there you go. I almost was like, is this a joke? Like, is this fake? 
that's how I felt when I bought this. But I bought it anyway. Because <laughs> I also bought at the same time, I mentioned in my last, I don't know if that's going to be my last video actually. This might be going up first. But anyway, I bought the milk, uh, the milk makeup clear brow gel in the same order um so yeah oh i also i got this in that order too this is a alex and annie bracelet it's very hard to show you on camera it's called the endless knot it's like a celtic thing it means like connection and stuff i don't know there was a whole like nice box of it but I got this for like six dollars or something and then I tried to buy this for my mom for Christmas in silver and I think Alex and Annie is not a thing anymore at least not in Canada like I don't I can't buy it so I don't know maybe they went out of business and that's why it was on the boxy pop-up but I got that and I'm really happy with it what else is in here I don't know if I showed you this, but I finally got one of those Tower 28 milky lip jellies that everyone's talking about. I got the shade Almond, which is just like a nice brown gloss, which did I need? Definitely not, but I got it anyway. <laughs> That's the shade. Um, I've heard really good things about these. These are in like people's best of 2020, so I'm excited to use this. Oh, and when I got the Naked Honey palette, um, the shoppers that my mom bought it from sent like a bag of samples, but it's actually like full-size products for free. So I don't know. I should like order from shoppers outside of the province from now on. <laughs> because they put this in the bag. This is the Catrice and Iman blush palette. Iman is, um, I think, I don't want to say this incorrectly, but I think she's um, an Egyptian influencer. I don't know, I hope so. But um, I think she's coming out with her own brand too. I saw that somewhere online. But anyway, she did a collab with Catrice and they sent this as a sample but this is a full palette it's a full blush palette and look how pretty it is so i'm very excited about this actually it just looks really nice and i haven't tried i don't think i've tried anything from catrice before so this could be um nice to have like for a drugstore video or something or a drugstore look i'm excited about that Oh, another Christmas gift. My back hurts. I got another Patrick Ta. Um, what are these called again? <laughs> Double Take Cream and Powder Blush. Yes. So, um, I already have the Coral one, which I don't remember the name of. But this one is the She's So LA. And I actually wanted this, again, since it came out but it was out of stock forever. So finally, it was in stock and I, it was on my, my loves list at Sephora. So it's this product here, which I am obsessed, obsessed with. Um, because this one, I, can, I think I can use as a blush and a bronzer like I might even get more use out of this one than I do with the coral one because this can be used like for an all over glow kind of thing and I already know I like the formula of this and um Patrick Ta says that you put the powder on before the cream which you normally be like no that's not gonna work but it does work because he made this formula specifically to be used like that so this side with the plastic has the cream shade and then this is the powder shade and yeah i'm really excited about this it's a bit deeper than i thought but 
I think these are more sheer anyway, so I don't, I'm not really concerned with it being too dark to me or anything. So yes, that will definitely need to go in a video soon. I guess it's more like a summer product, but whatever. Doesn't even matter anymore what season it is. I don't think so. Oh, this is another face palette that I got in a boxy charm. Was it in that December one? Yes. This came in the um, the Boxy Lux for December. It's the Iconic London Blaze Chaser Face Palette, um, which is apparently $55, which I would not spend, but it looks like this. It actually looks quite similar to the Pretty Vulgar one. Does it? Yeah, it does. <laughs> I don't know if I need to keep this one. Ooh, yeah, like, do I need both of these? Probably not. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't know. It might be really good because I know Iconic London, um, I really like their highlighter, their liquid one, which I also got in a boxy charm at some point. So I, I do want to try this, but I don't know if I need to keep it. But it is really nice, so we'll see. Oh, and here's the Hip Dot palette I was telling you about. This is, oh, it's that word I don't know how to say. Was it here? Yeah, C-Note? C-Note Pressed Eyeshadow Palette? I have no idea. Um, this word, <laughs> C-E-N-O-T-E, -E. I don't know, but, um, I'm actually quite excited about this. This is the packaging, it's really nice and sturdy, and look at these shades. Yes, I love blue and green eyeshadow, and this is like a mix of the two, so... Very excited about this, and it's quite unique for my collection as well, which I'm happy about. I don't know, I'm kind of excited about this. Um, and I was also planning to do like a full face of indie makeup. I hope this is an indie brand, I'm assuming it is, because I've only ever seen it in BoxyCharm and in other people's videos, so yeah. Um, I'm probably gonna try this out in that video. Is that it? Yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, so that's it for my collective haul, which goes back to like November, so don't be scared. <laughs> I don't buy all this makeup um, regularly. So yeah, I hope you like this video. If there's anything you saw that you are um, you really want to know more about just let me know or if you have any ideas for videos because I do want to use this makeup I don't just want to collect it and put it away you know so I hope you liked it and if you did give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next video bye